going on gamers RC Styles here getting back to Final Fantasy 7 remake today we're working on chapter 7 a trap is sprung Excuse me sir you're tight Quickly now quickly mm. Reeks of Mako. Looks like we made it. Layout's the same as Reactor One. Yeah. We're near Mako storage. Let's move. That <laughs> was pretty cool. It's all in the mind. Hmm? Hey, check it out. They sick this big boy on us, we'd be screwed six ways from Sunday. Mechanized units like these were designed to take out giant monsters. Probably a new prototype. If they do decide to deploy it, then our best bet would be to run like hell. Oof. Then let's hope he sleeps through the explosion. Kind of felt like it was okay. You guys are just joking around with me, but then it was totally fine. I jumped all over you to make it a uh -huh, funny moment. I did that on purpose. Yeah, because <laughs> I, <clears throat> based on everything, like I, I could kind of sense that you were. I know we're, we are still kind of everybody's kind of feeling each other out. Everybody's still getting to know each other, and yeah, he's quiet. You know, some people are more quiet. It's harder to read. What's up, Ma? Okay. But yeah, yeah, I don't shut the fuck up, so, you know. This, this morning was just a scary situation, and I didn't know what to expect, you know, um, and I, I, if I would have came on to see a Thieves at that point with all that going on, I would have felt real guilty and ass, you know. No, so. you're fine, you're fine. 
It's not a concern at all. Cool. We'll find another time. But we're thinking it was um, a sudden drop in blood sugar over a stroke, but he still has to see the doctor. Because he's uh, in his 70s, so. Yeah, I don't really button mash. I just hold mine in like I did with 15. Um, see, I never did that. I, I was button tapping the whole way like it was a fighting game. Um, because in 15 you had the ability to hold it in and it would automatically do combos and shit like yeah. that. I did a lot of Punisher mode. Yeah. Like I would typically, I would typically, unless I was working a pure stagger angle or something strategic, if there was a reason the boss couldn't be damaged that way or I don't know, then I would whatever. But if I was really taking a shot and moving in with Cloud, I would always go Punisher. I used the Punisher a lot on like enemies that seem stronger than me, but then I revert back to a lot of the things I did in Final Fantasy VII original, like spell weak weapon. Helps mm. out a lot. Mm. Or against a bunch of Shinra troops giving fire element to Cloud is what I usually would do. Oh, that's cool. He could fuck him up. A holographic mm -hmm. image of Heidegger. Oh, you're a, you're an Airbuster. Oh, no, you're not. Are you? Um, he came up with a holographic form and a bunch of metal things started floating around him. You on Twitch? I'm on YouTube. Alright. And they're issuing a bogus news report that we're about to destroy yeah, shit. I know where you're at. This is the be yeah, this is the beginning where you're gonna be basically they, they set the whole trap, they know you're there. It's awesome. I actually really like what they did there with the story. That one Chinese looking dude looked just like the doctor that did my dental surgery. <laughs> I had to also call my dentist because I'm still having a good deal of pain and with the antibiotics they should the pain should be going away. So I'm wondering if I might be resistant to clindamycin, so I'm waiting for him to call me back. You fought Airbuster before, right? Um, no, no. I thought you said you got to, uh, Chapter 9. I must have been wrong, because, like, I, was, I wasn't paying attention to what the game was calling the chapters. I was going based off how it would get, go to load screen to load screen to load screen. So is this as far as you've ever, like, remembered getting? Yeah, at this point, yeah. Oh, dude. Oh, dude. Awesome. I'm only saying that because I get to watch. That's awesome. Sorry, man. Like, you know, you've talked to me. Uh, I, I wanted to tell you this because I'm not really sure how else to say it because I'm a nerd and I'm a dork and that's just the facts. But, you know, you've, you've told me about a few different things that have happened recently and how, you know, I was a really good friend to find the time that we did. Right. As a friend... I just, this game is so special to me, and I think you're going to have that same feeling. Oh, well, and I'm pretty I, sure. I, 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 wa I just, I, I want you to get there so we can really, like, have a real good dig-in discussion. Like, what I want to do is I want to do a simultaneous watching of a podcast after you beat this game. It's the best succinct explanation instead of me confusing the shit out of you and talking in seven directions. Um, right. And that way, you can kind of get all the info that's been released as to what the ending means, and what the future of this is. And yeah, then we can have one short. See those little things on the sides usually? Yeah, it just switched over. There you go. So I did, I did this a few times and once on hard mode. The whole sequence here going through the reactor, all they did to change it was and they're going to explain it now. You can deactivate certain things that they put Airbus in Airbuster. Like he can have less shells to fire the big bomber attack. You know what I mean, right? 
Final Fantasy VII Original to me is an easy game if you are prepared and you understand the game and you know what to do. This game, if you know what to do, will still kill you. Right. And I like that a lot. All right. What are you going to be on? Um, I kind of just want to play Ghost. So that's where you're supposed to go, but you can't go through there, I think, until you talk to that computer. Well, let me try hitting the button over here. Let's see how it's saying, hey, let's not leave before we're done. It's saying that because you're supposed to try to take something off the bomber guy. So you can't leave yet. You have to do the other terminal right there. You're going toward it now. It's right in front of you. On the left. I think my audio is way behind you. It is. It's on the other side of the room. There's a terminal on the... Uh... Oh, crap. My audio is so far it. behind your video that I'm not sure I know what you're talking about. It's along the right wall if you were facing the computer. Yeah, you found it, I think. All right. And every one of those you get, you can weaken Airbuster. But I think every one after this is optional. I will be your IGN guide. <laughs> that works for me. Whatever you need. I don't feel like looking at the computer. <laughs> because you can always fucking tell that I'm looking at a guide or something, and I don't always like that. I understand. I'd rather go in... The, yeah, uh, this will be an exclusive for anybody watching. I'd rather y'all not know I'm using a guide. <laughs> I mean, I, I get it. Oh, I'll flat out tell you, when we're playing Sea of Thieves, especially when I start doing it on PC, on my second monitor, next to my stream deck, I'm going to have the app <laughs> on yeah. my computer, which will basically tell me where everything is in the game, instead of me hunting around looking for it, because that's what everybody else is doing. Alright, I didn't said I wouldn't be going too long. Here we are for part three. I'm gonna call it The Way of the Samurai Continues for Ghost of Tsushima. Mr. Crowley here with Gamers Purgatory and RC Styles is also here playing his own and streaming his own game as well. Finally on the Final Fantasy bandwagon. Finally, after I've been bitching at him for months. Oh, I'm always been on it, just haven't <laughs> had the time to continue and follow up with it. We're all very busy. I gotta loot this village. I just liberated it from the Mongolians. And by liberated it means I killed every one of them. Alright, so I'm guessing there's another key card in here. Uh, one of the rooms, or two of the rooms, have two of them. I don't remember which, though. Ooh, I can upgrade my katana. There's one right there. Alright, the final swordsmith. It's two choices, only one single use card. Alright, what do we got here? Tell me where the swordsmiths are. Maybe I haven't met one yet. Alright, I can dispose of the big bomber. Or... I honestly just always try to disperse of things as evenly as possible. I think you get one more than is, like, even. So I think I got rid of the big bomber like more often than the others because I figure why not take his big attack away well I can either take away his speed or his big bomber here and the last time I took away the liquid materia so let me take away his bomber here 
There's no real wrong way to do it. I found the first boss of Dark Souls ten times harder than fighting Airbuster on hard mode with taking nothing away from him, so it's okay. It's doable. One of the things that I really like about this game is all the different game mechanics that you can use for stealth that are right. active everywhere. So you can crouch, you can go into <laughs> this like super hearing mode, which is like super slow down stealth, but it basically kind of highlights anything that's making noise, which basically shows you where people are. Um, what's the other thing? Oh, hello, merchant. I'm kind of glad to just be doing this. I've been itching to do something different than Rocket League and even Mortal Kombat. Which I haven't played in a couple days. <laughs> He's like, of course I do. Well, get help. Yeah. <laughs> oh shit! I remember getting into an argument with um, my son's mother, and she tried to call me like everything under the sun, and I was just like, not interested. Click. <laughs> I mean, what's funny is like a lot of people had issues with certain things in the game, and I think a lot of that came from 20 plus years of you read text and heard it in your head differently than other people did. Right. You know what I mean? It's kind of interesting. Like, he was always kind of a dick. Like, but he's actually 21. He doesn't remember the last five years of his life, so he's walking around trying to act cool. Like, that's his whole thing. He's just outmatched and like, you know, trying to just, fake it until just... he makes it find it great that some of the shit he says can be still used in 2020 against people that bother you and it's so simple man it's just like all these years you react to somebody and a simple not interested and walk away or just did it did it all you know? <laughs> it's like, it, wow it certainly can <laughs> why am i not able to use all right i want to see what everything is before i make my decision I can go back here. Should I do? Hmm. Well, that one's tricky. Another big bomber. Thank you again. Uh, I tried uh, that, and it was very good. Good, good. I thought you did too. I um. Mm, excuse me. I had like a little bit left in my jar, like shake wise, I was smoking on last night. Um, and I do, I think I did pack a bowl of that, but by that time I was uh, kind of into everything else and nearly didn't pay much mind to how I was feeling. Dude, how about Nate last night? <laughs> Yeah, he was getting pretty, pretty pissed at that. Uh, he was getting riled. I didn't, I didn't expect it. He must have had a bad day. It's not usually like him. I was trying to explain to the best of my ability. It's like I'm not looking at you guys when we're driving around that field. My vision's locked on the ball. Oh no, he was just having a day. He was having. I have days like that at work. I have days like that when I play games where it's just like, you know, you kind of go in in a little bit of a sour mood. Then one thing goes wrong, and you're just like, oh, fucking of course it is. Yeah. Right. And it just, it just snowballs from there. Yeah. Every little thing. And to be honest, like, we were running up against some fucking players. Yeah, like, that, that I don't think I've seen a night like that ever. It's funny. Ah, uh, yeah, I do gotta adjust it. Wait a minute. Alright, so... Alright. Where'd that fucking fox go?
Oh, how cute. You guys got shields. How did I avoid that? Oh, yeah. I did this. mistake mm, what happened I forgot to watch my fucking uh, health bar like I said rookie mistake Reheal everybody real quick. <laughs> I just saw your comment. There you go. <laughs> You're not going to live through that, motherfucker. Come on! Through the tree! Ugh. Still playing five. Honey, I can't hear you right this minute. Epic battles are happening. Epic. Although we need to talk victory poses. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Still playing Final Fantasy? I'm abandoning this mission right now. I'll come back to it later. I've ruined where the fox went and lead me to where I was supposed to go. So I'll just come back later. <laughs> All right, no way up, he says. favorite thing about this game is that when you acquire supplies in a game like this in your head when I say you had to acquire supplies what kind of supplies would you uh, would you go get what, do you, what would you expect which game are we talking now goes to Shishima in a game like this healing items maybe something to restore like your key if you're using some kind of magic abilities Maybe even some uh, raw materials to craft, depending on the type of game. That's what I would have expected. That's a reasonable, normal person's response. An educated gamer's response. You want to know what the supplies in this game are? What's that? 
It's an item called supplies. <laughs> when you just absolutely positively have to be simplistic about shit. I mean, I like it though, because all you, it's very basic. There's iron, there's metal, there's bamboo, there's supplies. When you have certain enough of certain amounts of certain ones, um, then you can upgrade certain things and yeah, it's it's I just think it's funny as hell. That's my that's my favorite thing. It's a stupid favorite. I don't thing. have my map. Right, we're waypointing this motherfucker. We gonna get some silk. I don't. Oh, there it is. I was about to be like, what the fuck? I don't have my map. <laughs> is there a weapon smith near me? It's back the other way, isn't it? Let me see here. Oh, it's up there somewhere. We'll find it. Mr. Rocco. <laughs> Hello. Sorry, she doesn't know the meaning of the word name dropping. <laughs> Daddy, it's all good. Is Mr. Rocco my uncle? Hold on a second. <laughs> That's funny. Oh, look, there's more things for me to look up and find and do. Oh, very cute. Right. Micah, you're gonna have to wait. Right, just walk around me. Walk around me, lady. Alright. I feel stupid for some reason. Well, I would too. Me sitting here silently with none, not, no idea what the proper response is. Uh, no, I mean, I've been used to being called stupid, so that's not going to bother me. Uh, I feel like I'm fucking stuck. Like, I'm in that big room. Oh, never mind. Never mind. I will shut up now. Yeah, you see where Barrett's standing? <laughs> <laughs> well, for a second there, he was. Fo I thought he was following me, so... Fuck off. <laughs> Was that the Ghostbusters trap? Because I swore I just saw the Ghostbusters trap. I think it just passed it. Like, like you didn't run around in fucking circles a few times. And I emphasize a few times, I'm sure. <laughs> Our uh, character I, got naked for a minute. Oh, good grief. I guess you didn't hear what I just said either. <laughs> Not so much. I was trying to listen because there's a lot of talking in this game. That I'm trying not to talk over all of it. I, I, I sat there and I was like, uh, yeah, like you didn't run around in circles a few times. And I mean a few times. <laughs> Look, in Final Fantasy 7 OG, I spent six hours at Wall Market the very first time I played this game because I couldn't find the drunken fucker at the bar to make me a dress. That's a real <laughs> statement. That's a real thing. And I had the guide and everything. I had the freaking Brady game strategy guide, but it never told you where the little drunk bastard was. Right. And that, one, that was my biggest struggle with the first playthrough of Final Fantasy 7, which is so stupid. And wasn't he just, like, laying in the upper corner or something? So, when you walk in the bar, and I think it's at the top left part of the wall market in the original, um, the reason I kept missing him is because he's literally, like, the first little dude tucked away in the right side up against the wall. You have to walk in, then walk right around the door frame to get to this, like, wall of the bar with a bunch of stools, and he's sitting there by himself facing the wall. Like, <laughs> because he's already plastered. Right. 
and he's just very easy to miss. And I, I swear I talked to every single body in Walmart at like three times before I finally found him. <laughs> oh, well. I mean, but then again, they really didn't give you much to go on. Fine. Me? No, not at the moment. I was going to tell her to be good so she could play Undertale sooner because I want to see you two play it. I told her later on tonight where I'd play some Undertale with her. Awesome. No, you said That's, uh, you were done playing uh, Final Fantasy. And while you're doing edits. Undertale is one of my favorites. It's a beautiful, intelligent game. And, then you and if you really like, listen, if you really listen to the music, you'll hear Tiger. Before you uh, get to Airbuster, mm -hmm. I've just been doing this with this game, and I did it with Final Fantasy VII, just like looking at the environments you're in. Like when you're in Midgar and you're looking up at the plate, like there's some really good shit. The shot you get before you fight Airbuster is a really good one. You fight them on the bridge outside, same way you did in the original. So when you go outside, you know you're walking into it. But if you don't walk too far out as you get out there, you can literally see the whole outside of the reactor and the city and everything. It's really cool. At night. Oh, shit. It's going differently. Oh, yeah. You're doing the other one? <laughs> yeah. This one fucked me up a lot. <laughs> like, a lot. Right, what the hell am I doing here? Oh, well, the, the errors are on the monitor. Yeah, if you're watching her or Barrett or whatever, it fucks you up. That move. It's like right when she says one. I'm having the exploration problem right now. 
That's what's making me take so long to do anything, is I'm looking around everywhere. Like, oh, before I talk to you again, let me check this little tower here. Make sure I don't miss any <laughs> more supplies. And I usually find something. I like to hoard in these games, especially early. Uh, magic up. Material. I'm not sure how we're going to do these episodes for this kind of game. Because this isn't broken up in chapters. So, like... I don't know, I guess I can just do... Two, three hours at the most. But doing them in hour pieces is going to be really hard. But they're on YouTube, so... Back up. Nothing yet. I'll make sure I got all this leather. I'm back in here. All right. I Damn. Just, I just did the uh, waste disposal. the fight air buster now you are turn that uh turn those headphones up <laughs> the phases of this boss and the way the music changes with it is just my favorite i think pretty much in the game there's other great ones but it's just for this one was, this one was great Thirsty dog. What do you think's gonna happen if you don't stop? Huh? 
You like that music? Oh yeah. They made the uh, like OG uh, boss battle theme just this big epic show.
So you've never done this boss fight before, really? Nope. I could have sworn you said you were at Walmart. Well, yeah, before I had to restart everything, but... It, I didn't really go through a lot of this. What's that? Well, just the way this map expands with the way the quests come. I like it. It's simplistic, though, which I like also. I don't like it when games overcomplicate things. Make the complicated shit in the combat, you know? Like, You'd be a lot to discover and to use there. Right. No way it's going to hit him. What? Her limit. No, wait till he comes back in. He'll go. He'll come back in and out. This is why. This is like the moment why I said uh, thunder spells. The other two. And then when he gets close, it's like, unleash fucking hell. The music should match it too, which is one of my favorite moments in this fight. Alright, what am I missing here? Somebody I need to talk to. No, I'll talk to that person. Almost got this. Come on. 
on, guys. Bring it on. Let's go. What we made of. Wasn't that fun? Oh yeah. That's a fucking boss battle.